Wet dreams, wild nightmares, I surrender. Yes, I do, Slavko. You guys, we've got to talk about a song. Yes, Montenegro Slavko Kalezic has released his skin titillating music video for Space. This song is disco meets dance floor meets 2017. It's been produced by Stefan Orn, the genius behind a number of Eurovision songs, including the 2011 winner. Some will call this song filthy, others will call it a guilty pleasure. I don't have any guilt. This is pure pleasure. This is so out there, original, and fresh. It destroys all my fears that this would be a boring Eurovision because of all the ballads. This song alone is enough to justify me paying that ticket, getting a hotel room, and going to Kiev. This is fun. It is funky. It is fresh. Some people being a little homophobic online, but you know what? Slay queens, crazy queens, they exist, and they're part of the LGBT space too. If you don't like it, you can turn it off. All I know is this, I'm gonna pull out my phone and I'm gonna vote. Thank you, Slavko. Chris. Oh, I'm so happy that this is in Eurovision I, for all the same reasons, because it's in semi-final one, the ballad semi-final, and this is going to come along and blow everything away, I feel like. Um, I'm gonna admit, when Slavko was announced, I wasn't feeling it as much as other people. I didn't think that it was gonna be that great. I thought it was gonna be a bit messy. And it kind of is messy, but in an amazing way. Like, this is trashy Balkan slut pop, and I really, really love that. <laughs> so um, I'm so happy I was wrong. Slavko, you have really just taken that spotlight, and you are working it. You are working that hair, flipping it back and forth. The lyrics are filthy, but I love them. Ah, oh, just, yes, preach. Slay queen. <laughs> Bernardo, come in me from within. We can be as one in the sin. Your turn. There's so many things going on in this song. I don't even know where to start describing it. When I first listened to it, I didn't get it. But then before starting, starting recording, I listened to it again, and I understood the appeal it could have in Eurovision, especially in semifinal number one. Um, I still think this is not a Eurovision winning song. However... In semi-final one, this could easily go through as one of the most up-tempo and funny songs. And I'm pretty sure Slavko is going to bring amazing staging and a, so a show-stopping performance to Kiev. So I'm quite excited for this. We know he has the personality. We know he has the voice. So let's see if this comes up. I I'm just hoping this is not going to be a huge mess on stage. Stage could be the defining factor here, and I think if he, if he nails the staging, it could easily go through to the final. I have my suit on, no need to worry. Give me your body, <coughs> let's write a story. Our body language, rocket to the stars. What I'm trying to say is he's going to write a story with the visual language. This music video is all over the place and I love everywhere it goes. From him standing on a rock to voguing in front of a cage to wearing a very long skirt <coughs> to wearing black leather pants to showing off that very muscular gym honed body which makes people's blood rush from their head to their crotch. He's ticking all the boxes here. This is high art, kabuki avant-garde. The long hair braid actually harks back to a number of warrior traditions across several ancient cultures. He pulled out that history book and he's calling it Slayko, Slayko Kalezic. This is interesting from start to finish. Honestly, the moment that video came on, my jaw was on the floor. Flies could have been flying in my mouth. There was no way I was gonna keep them out because this is just so <laughs> jaw-dropping. This, if he can create even 10% of this energy and fabulosity on the Eurovision stage, he's going to do very well. Normally, I don't like anything disco. I don't like anything that's 70s disco, but this works. For whatever reason, he's managed to take disco elements and combine them with his song. It's just magical. Some people will call this trash, let's be real, but it does not matter. This is good at what it's doing, and I would download this. I would pay to download this. I think the main thing for me is that Slavko knows he's not 
going to be the the one hundred percent the best guy there at at being a singer, perhaps, or being like the best performer, having the best staging. Because it's Montenegro, you know, they're not always able to give the the weight that a Sweden can, for example. But he is so true to himself as an artist, and he's so in tune with what works for him that that immediately elevates this song and it's exactly what i would want from him it's not he's not trying to do something that he isn't he's very true to himself he believes in what he's doing and compared with some of the artists this year that again immediately puts him ahead of them um and i just i genuinely want him to do well no i don't think it's a eurovision winner i don't think it's a top five song but there will be people who will get this and they will vote for it and it's fun and it's enjoyable. And I want Montenegro, one, to qualify and two, to do well in the final. The jury will probably destroy this, let's be honest, but hopefully some will see the artistic integrity in this mm. and he will he will do well, hopefully. I think this is some ways I can compare it to Portugal, but in the complete opposite, you know? Very simple in Portugal and then you have extravaganza in Montenegro and voters or the televote can actually back up Montenegro and the juries could back up Portugal in the sense that there are completely different uh, completely different songs um, and the mix uh, the reviews that uh, Slavko song is getting online on this first minutes um, are in some ways also also uh, the same as Portugal some people hate it load it some people love it put him on top, I can see the appeal, I can see the where this song can uh, get votes from, let's be honest, and I can see where this song cannot get votes from. So it's 50-50, I think he has a personality, he's going to bring it on stage, so I'm, I'm excited to see this one in, in Kiev. And I would pay for, to download it as well, William, so that's it. And we're some broke-ass bitches, so that says a lot. Now, <laughs> when it comes to love and loathing, the love is what matters, because it's love that makes you pick up the phone. It doesn't matter if lots of people hate you, because you got to get the people with love, and he's got that. You know, he can be the Bonnie, and I will be his Clyde. A lot of people on the website are saying this is the dancing Lasha Tumbai of this year, a.k.a. this could do really well because of that televote support. Yeah, I'm actually really excited to see how this unfolds. We've got to remember Nina Zizic and Husi, they came fourth with the televote in their semi. Granted, the jury kept them out of the final. But in my mind, this is even more eye-popping and catching, catchy. And I could see random people who don't follow Eurovision voting for this. I can also see Eurovision fans voting for this. I'm feeling really positive. To me, and I'm not even lying, I think this is Montenegro's best entry ever. And I can already hear people going, <gasps> I'm sorry, I prefer this to the Balkan Ballad. This is more interesting. We've heard a billion Balkan Ballads. We've not heard this. I'd probably still prefer Just Get Out of My Life to this, but we'll see. We'll see in May. I'll probably be like dancing in amongst the sea of Eurovision fans on semi-final one. Um, yeah, I do think that when you think of Pussy as well, the voting system change, probably, they probably would have qualified now. We don't quite know. You can't really work it out, but they probably would make it. And I think that alone is why Slavko probably will qualify. I fear that this might open the semi-final though, because he is in the first half and it seems the kind of song that they would shove in there. Um, but also great party starter. And sometimes being the best on being like the person to start the show first and get it going well, that does mean that you can qualify. It's not a death knell. Um, and I think he will stand out. I mean, he's obviously going to stand out one way or another, but yes. in that first semi-final, he is going to stand out. I'm pleasantly optimistic about this. As I said before, this is a showstopper. If it's going to qualify or not, that's a completely different story. And I think for this song specifically, we need to wait to see the staging to see how it works out. But I'm extremely positive because I think in a sea of ballads, this is the standout of the semi-final at this moment. Sweden didn't choose um, yet, uh, so this is the standout uh, song of the of the first semi-final. He's got the dogs barking. He's got the tongue wagging. This is erotic poetry. I think that so many people are going to find something they can latch onto, whether it's the crazy, whether it's the sexuality, whether it's the art, whether it's the music. There's a box here for everybody to tick. In any case, that is what we think. What do you think? Are you loving the sexy stylings of Slavko Kalezic? Do you want to get lost in space with him? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. 
and make sure to like this video. Don't forget to download our brand new app on the Apple Store and on Google Store. And comment on the comment section. We like to hear, we like to read your comment. We like to like them and answer back to you. So please comment. We've got our suits on. No need to worry. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.